Hey, we're here at the High School for Health Professions. Tell us about the program this afternoon. Well, we're having a community health fair. So we have doctors and um, that are out here as well as nurse practitioners and um, I think audiologists are in here as well. What's an audiologist? What is it? Well, they actually check your hearing. Okay. okay. Uh, that's right. Oh, audio, okay. That's right. That's right. So they're here to um, work with folks in the, in the community. So you're expecting people that are just, you've invited just some normal local residents trying to get screen health services while young people are also having an opportunity to observe the medical profession in, in action. Is that it? That is correct. Also be involved because they will do um, blood sugar uh, screenings in addition to um, having to get some of their sticks so they can be uh, certified as well in, in phlebotomy. We have wonderful programs here that certify students in medical assistant, patient care tech, EKG, and also in phlebotomy as well. So Phlebot now what's phlebotomy? What's phlebotomy that? is drawing blood. Okay. So when you go to the hospital and you have that specific person that's drawing your blood, taking your blood for you for it to be analyzed, that's what they're doing. Okay. And so our students, they get the opportunity to become certified in those areas. So once they graduate, they'll have that certification to be out in the workforce. What has this school done for the Orangeburg community as a standalone institution? What has it done? Well, I'm actually here representing the Lynx, um, the Orangeburg chapter of Lynx Incorporated. Okay. So what we're doing is we are volunteering, we're partnering with high school. We've, we sponsor with them tonight so that we can um, register and help the community learn about all the great benefits that they're offering here this evening. So I guess you are the best representation of understanding how, because this school didn't exist before. That's correct. It wasn't a vision from somebody from Orangeburg, it was a vision from somebody outside of Orangeburg who saw the necessity of reaching outside of Orangeburg to bring something like that here. And I think it's been a tremendous help, don't you? I agree. Hello, my name is Morgan Blanchard and I'm a senior here at the High School for Health Professions. And upon graduating college, um, no, graduating high school, I plan to attend a four-year accredited university or university and major in nursing and I came to the high school for health professions because I wanted to be in the health field and I plan to be a nurse practitioner. Um, we, we look for opportunities to for our students to serve as well as learn. Mm -hmm. um, experiential learning is, is, is a good focus so we're just uh, hoping that they get a chance to come out and experience it as well. All right. So we got the links as a community partner working at the high school for health professions um, Dr. McGee, of course, anything else you want to add extra? I hope that we have a great turnout. We have wonderful students here that do an excellent job. So we hope that for the opportunity for the community to come out and see what we're doing here at HSHP. You can have a congenital anomaly, which means that if you ever see someone born and one arm might be shorter or locked down and it's deviated. So we look at the posture because your posture assists with breathing. Think about someone who has a scoliosis, which is a lateral deviation of the curve in the spine. But sometimes if you get the scoliosis, it shrinks your body. So let's say four is like six three, you know, but if he had a scoliosis, he would be like maybe six one. So I am a chiropractor. A chiropractor is a portal of entry healthcare provider. Um, here in the state of South Carolina, we are also considered physicians. Uh, we're able to diagnose most any condition and then send people to the right place to go. But we focus on the spine because the spine is the bony framework of the nervous system. And the chiropractic philosophy is that if the nervous system and the body is free without interference, the body can heal itself. So we use adjustments where we manipulate the spine in order to correct spinal, um, spinal subluxations or malfunctioning of the spine, therefore allowing the body to heal, heal itself and the patient to uh, get better on their own accord. What has this been for you? Has this in school given you the insight on what you want to become? Is it, is, did it happen yeah. here? Yes, it really did. Um, back when I was in middle school, I really didn't want to do anything with health. But now since I've been to this school, it kind of steered me in a direction in the health field. Right. My name is Carla Glover. I am a pharmacist for Walmart in Orangeburg, Walmart, the Supercenter on the North Road, and I am at the health fair to answer questions about people's medications, uh, drug interactions, how they should take their medications, how they should be adherent to um, their doctor's orders as far as taking their medication. 
Hi, my name is Asha Graham. I'm a licensed master social worker. So what that is, is I am licensed um, to deal with anyone that has, I can diagnose and treat mental health illnesses. So if a person um, schizophrenic, bipolar, depression, all of those mental health illnesses, I'm able to um, diagnose. So I can diagnose a person if they have those mental health illnesses, then provide treatment. Family Solutions at the Look Country um, is a program, first it's under the South Carolina Office of Rural Health. And what that means is that we look at the family from a holistic standpoint and we try to meet the needs that um, whatever that family is in need of at that time, we work with them to ensure that the, that need is supplied. For example, one of the things that we do is work with pregnant women. And so we're wanting to reach pregnant women while they're in their first trimester of pregnancy. Um, because that's a critical part when they're in their first trimester because we want to get them early on in pregnancy, ensure that they have a doctor that they're going to, an obstetrician, and as well as do a risk assessment to see what, what their other needs are. All of that is to ensure that they have a healthy pregnancy outcome. I'm Dr. Kevin Ray. I am the foot and ankle surgeon here in Orangeburg, or a podiatrist. Uh, I deal with all foot problems. I'm here today at the uh, High School for Health Professions because I enjoy working with the students. Uh, there are several students that are here at the university, at the school that actually comes into the office and they're able to kind of see what's going on from a healthcare perspective and what we do as podiatrists, helping to save limbs. That's what we do. We try to make sure that because our community is afflicted with diabetes on a large scale, we want to make sure that people are still walking, still being active and doing the things that they want to do and enjoying their lives. Lindsay Woolley with SC Thrive. So I'm with SC Thrive. We're a statewide nonprofit. We're formerly known as the Benefit Bank. Um, we are an organization that helps South Carolina South Carolinians get better resources. Um, in Orangeburg County, we were, we have a really close relationship with Family Health Centers, where um, their staff, their eligibility workers, are able to help someone that comes in that doesn't have food or doesn't have health care. Um, instead of just giving them those clinical services, they're also able to get them applied for SNAP and for Medicaid while they're in house. That way, they don't have to go to DSS. That Later, they have to go to um, the Medicaid office uh, and drive all around the, the county to get what they need. My name is Ashay Sanders, and I came here because I wanted to further my education in health, not more of nursing and doctor, doctoring, I guess you can say, <laughs> but more of uh, helping the community with public health issues and being an advocate for them, mostly health care type of issues. and insurance issues. I'm uh, Lewis okay. and? and I want to go to South Carolina State University. I want to major in social working. Both are part of the HOSA organization so tell them about HOSA. What is HOSA? What is that? HOSA it's a very very uh, spontaneous group you know we help we do um, fundraisers we help overnight we stay. We have competition uh, HOSA is Health Occupation Students of America. We usually travel to a competition in March and we made it to nationals this year. We do a lot of stuff with the uh, community and just health things in general.